Ladies and gentlemen, KK, we are welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys are good at trading. Today, market is up about 0.2%. Dyer on the SDS at 0.5%. Semiconductor 2.6%. Dow, Red, Russell 2000, Transport Banks, Energy, Biotech, Healthcare, Home Builders, Utilities, Retail, Emerging Market, Every Single Sectors are seemingly slightly green today. Bitcoin up, gold silver miners are down, dollar flat, oil up, treasure bond flat. Rates flat, fix is down about 2.5%. They are less stable. That's me, very much right. Yes, Spider 65 minutes are here. Here, so this is where we closed yesterday. It looks like we actually saw a slight gap up in the morning here, pretty much open flat. We made a run for it on that first hour of opening. However, the short-term moving average in that vicinity, as you can see, first, second, third, you see that long lower wicks here and some fluctuations. Buyers having a hard time getting above that short-term moving average. As you can see, all these moving averages now trying to go against the buyers. <gasps> These moving average think that they need to support the sellers Perfect. ever since uh, sellers were able to uh, reprogram those moving average right about here. And this is why we had a hard time getting above that level all throughout the day. Fourth hour came back down, found support here on the fifth, sixth hour. We got right back up here, as you can see, we closed just right on that short term moving average. That's not a mistake or coincidence that the uh, market, when it closed, we closed just right underneath. Now, understanding the fact that this level has been acting as a resistance all throughout the day. You want to follow me? Okay. Okay, so going to tomorrow. Uh, th this is a level where things can get hectic here for the buyers uh, because all these moving averages guarding this vicinity. 400 is going to be that pivot that bulls want to reclaim. If they do want to see some traction to the upside, as you can see, that's the 400. It's just right above all the moving averages, the moving average cluster right about here. So that's going to be the level they need to break above. The best case scenario for the bulls, just because there are a lot of resistance they need to work with, if they can, it's not a big gap up actually. If they can gap it up just about 0.5%, I mean, I think 0.5% gap up is very much doable. A uh, bull's done that right about here. It looks like this was about 0.5% gap up. The 0.5% gap up would make this transition uh, much much smoother because if we gap up and hold above and reclaim this uh, pivot as a new so poor retest and then uh, make a move to the upside that might give the buyers the most smooth transition possible Perfect. just because again we're dealing with so many resistance uh resistances here all these uh moving averages because if the bull's trying to kind of thrust above it uh, a lot of these levels are going to fight against it obviously if you're a seller here and you're looking for a continuation move i could see that a lot of bears are, are looking at this as some sort of a bear flagging pattern before another leg lower and i talked about this before that it's kind of a dangerous to assume uh, some of those price action is going to be a bear flag because as you can see sometimes what it looks like a bear flag we're just going to get right back up um, so it doesn't always play out like that. Um, I can give you more examples that that didn't satisfy uh, your reasoning. You can see it looked like a bear flag. We actually reversed back up here. There's another one looked like a bear flag. People said maybe there was a bear flag. Maybe that was a bear flag. Maybe that was a bear flag. And that looked like a bear. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Especially in this type of market that we've been dealing with. Let's check out that oscillator. As, as you can see, that oscillator actually just crossed up today. Perfect. Uh, obviously, one day cross is not going to be a whole lot. However, we do have uh, some uh, historical performance where when we do see a cross, 
uh, at least in this vicinity right here, right here, right here, and right here. Uh, just kind of backtracking here, uh, back testing here. It looks to be that when we do see a bounce uh, in that vicinity, subsequently, uh, except the fact that in late December, this thing actually uh, got really uh, hectic here, but it did consolidate it sideways uh, before finally broke out. This one made a swift uh, upside move. This one made a lower low. Remember we talked about this uh, bullish divergence and we made a very, very fast three-day work move. So we're right in that vicinity with the cross. So if we do see a follow through uh, and get above 400 here, and if we close above 100, and there's a good chance that oscillator will see that advancement to the upside and that may give buyers a little bit of confidence to uh, continue to push, at least go up and, and retest some of these uh, falling resistance at some of these levels. Obviously, bears uh, don't want to hear any of this. Uh, they don't like the fact that oscillator is crossed up. They don't like the fact that uh, you know the market has been uh, sideways uh, consolidating here in a couple days or so. Uh, bears really do want to see this oscillator falling back down, whipsawing action, uh, some sort of a downturn. And bears are desperately seeking to uh, seeking that the price uh, breaking below that 397 support from today and that 390 from a comeback for you will reassess the situation. Enjoy your evening. Look, train tomorrow.